when I did my Halloween haul, um, I talked to you all at the end of the video about the candles I had bought. Uh, this is the uh, Woodwick Clove tea candle that I bought, and I just want to show you how far down this candle burned. So, yes, it was an expensive candle. It was like, I don't remember, like $23, something like that. But look at that. I have never, ever, ever had a candle burn down that far. That is amazing to me. Um, and it took a long time. Like, like if I didn't burn it eight hours a day all the time, it would have lasted a lot longer. Um, but it had a nice smell. I probably wouldn't go with the clove tea again. The clove tea, it, it did put off a, a, a good scent, but, um, it was, it's just once I've had this scent, I would rather have something different. So it's not that I didn't like it. I would just buy something different next time because I would want a new scent. Um, but I had to show this to you. I was getting ready to uh, throw this away. And um, I just thought, gosh, I have to show them how far down this burned because I'm not used to this with candles at all. Um, I'm used to, you know, having it that thick still in the bottom. And... Um, and so anyway, and my Yankee candle that I bought is still going strong. It was twice as big as this one, so it still has probably half left. But I do have to say about the Yankee candle is I've never had a candle like the Yankee candle that where it takes so long to burn. Well, I have the Yankee candle out here in the living room um, in this. And let me, I should have taken it taking it out before I started filming because you have to you have to pull this out you have to you can't just reach in there and jerk the candle out uh, you have to pull it by this uh, but this is really a really nice candle holder but you see um, I have burned now like I said this candle is twice as big as that is that one that I just showed you and um, but look how look how slow it burns I've never had a candle burned this slow before and look how even that is uh, and it is just very very slow so I mean I have uh, probably weeks to go because we you know just depending on how many times I burn it uh, before this is gone and this was it, it was expensive it was like a $23 candle but my goodness um you know, I said in that video, I said, if you buy Bath & Body candles, I think you're fine. Because the, the scent of a Bath & Body candle is so very, very strong. And I still believe they're very strong. But let me tell you, if I, to be honest, a Bath & Body Works candle would have already been gone. It would have been totally gone by now because, um, because they burn much quicker than this. I just finished a book that I want to tell you all about. I won't talk about it too much because I never want to give anything away, but when I read something that I think is well worth your time, I want to tell you about it. So, I love Philippa Gregory books. I think she is a phenomenal writer, and she writes, um, many of her books are historical fiction, and like, uh, the other Bolin girl, and she's written uh, all about the Tudors, and it, they're they're fascinating books. But then she also writes books um, that they're still uh, they're fiction, but they're not about uh, like the royal family. So the one that I just finished is called Tidelands, and it was fantastic. It was. Um, about a woman who falls it's a love story it's a woman who falls in love with a man and they are not not supposed to be together and honestly that's probably about all i can say without i don't want to give anything away uh, this is a very very poor woman and the this uh the man who uh she falls in love with who falls in love with her um he is well above her and that's what it is is it's it's a love story and typically i don't um go for love stories but 
Philippa Gregory's love stories are different. There's so much more involved. There uh, are politics involved. Uh, there is um, historical accuracy involved in the way that women are treated and the, the, what women are allowed to say and do and um, um, women are were at one time you know they just did not have a voice and it amazes me when I read this stuff because you know it's very accurate and I, I tell myself I was born in the right time because I feel like um, I feel like I, I can as a woman I feel like I can pretty much say and do what I want you know and there was a time even when you watch the show Mad Men it shocked me in Mad Men that it would be considered sexual harassment these days and in that time it was completely acceptable to talk to these women and treat them this way and it's like I would not have put up with that for a minute with a man treating me that way or speaking down to me and there are men um who i know uh who feel this way about women today who um i mean i personally know men who think that women are lesser and that women should they have certain duties in the house and uh, i just couldn't be with a man like that i, I could not be with a man like that and uh, wouldn't want to be friends with a man like that. And um, so, reading these the this book, it just um, it, it it will amaze you if you read it. It's an excellent story. Um, it's called Tidelands, and um, uh, you should be able to check it out from the public library. I bought it on um, Amazon for my book reader, and so I read it on the book reader. So. I do collect Philippa Gregory books. I'm looking up because I've got you sitting on the bookshelf. The books are all behind you. So I do collect her books. Um, but this one, I, I, I have not actually bought the physical book. But um, I did read it on the book reader. It was just easier for me to do that. When I wanted to, I decided I wanted to read it one night. And it's like, well, I can't get to the library. And I can't get to the bookstore right now. And I want to start reading it now. So it was easier just to go on Amazon and, and make the purchase. So sometimes, you know. And um, in when I'm reading in bed, I love a physical book. Love turning the pages. I love the smell. Especially an old book. I love the smell of an old book. But at night, um, it's nice to have the book reader because it's a lot lighter. So I do have to, you know, it, uh, there's pros and cons uh, about it. But anyway, it's an excellent book. I have to show you this cat. He is laying in the floor. And if, if there is any light shining in from the curtain, he will find that light uh, between the curtain, I mean. He will find that light coming in the window, and he wants to lay in that light. I'm sure everyone's cats are like that. Usually cats are like that. Dogs are like that. Guido's on the couch asleep. But he has found the one piece of light. And so I want to show him to you. It's hilarious. Yeah. This is what I'm looking at <laughs> as I'm talking to you. So that one little strip of light... And he has to lay in it. And I'm sure it feels good. I'm sure it's warm. Look at him. <laughs> no, he, and he's not missing any meals. <laughs> but he loves the light. And then up here you have Guido. Guido's laying on the couch. He likes, uh, I, I fold that blanket up for him. And he likes to lay there because it's soft. Yeah. This is pretty funny. I want to say thank you to Deborah and Renee for the Halloween cards. I really appreciate them a lot. They're very cute. Thank you for thinking of me. Um, this card that Deborah sent me, it it's a, it has a vintage look to it, and um, it reminds me some that I have hanging around the house that I actually laminate and put around the house. So I love the 
the black cat on that, but I love the ghosts on this too, so thank you very much. It's Friday night, and instead of having a scrimmage to see a pizza <laughs> this week, we're having fried chicken for dinner. Uh, we, uh, a couple weeks ago in the grocery haul, we bought two big packages. We bought a, a great big package of drumsticks that was about as long as this platter, and then we bought a, um, package of thighs. And so what we do is we divide it. Um, we put uh, half the drumsticks and half the thighs in two plastic bags. And so this is one of those plastic bags. So we're going to have fried chicken. And then next week, Kevin and I will probably use the other bag to have baked chicken. Um, but we're going to have the family over for dinner tonight uh, because everybody in the family likes Kevin's fried chicken. And if you're interested, I do have a video on my channel of uh, Kevin's fried chicken. Uh, but we're going to have fried chicken and... Uh, mashed potatoes and rolls and macaroni and cheese and salad so I'll show it to you um, when it's all together so here is the fried chicken and the baked macaroni and cheese and over here Kevin has mashed potatoes and Ashley's making the kids plates and we have some rolls and a great big salad and here's the kiddos plates Once again, we're not on our way to Lexington, we're in Lexington. <laughs> Normally I start filming when we're um, on the interstate or something. We're actually in Lexington now and we're heading to uh, TJ Maxx because we haven't been here in a couple weeks. How long do you think it's been? Two or three? Two or three weeks. Um, but um, I was going to tell you all that I, uh, I told you earlier in the video that I finished that book, Tidelands, and how much I loved it. So, at night, lately in the bed, that's what I've been doing. And reading really relaxes me. It's very good for um, getting me ready for bed. It, it just puts me in um, a place where it, it will make me sleepy after a little while. So that is a good activity for me to do before bed is to uh, read a book. Well, I didn't um, choose a book. I have tons of books, but I didn't choose a book last night before I went to bed. I told Kevin, I said, I'm just going to play on my phone. So Kevin was sitting next to me and he was reading his book and I was playing on my phone and I watched all my Instagram videos and I watched, um, I could have watched YouTube videos, but I didn't. I mainly played on Instagram and then I went to certain websites that I go to and then, um, I thought, um, I'm going to go, there's a couple more websites I'm going to go and then we'll go to sleep. We'll go to, to uh, turn out the lights. And so one of the last websites that I went to was the Winchester Sun, which is our local newspaper. And it said that there had been a fatality. Um, two people had died in a uh, wreck. And that had happened just a couple of hours. I'm surprised they even had it already on their website because it had just happened at like 8.30 last night. So like four hours uh, before I looked, it had just happened. And I clicked on it. I thought, you know, what are the chances of me knowing, you know, either one of these people and uh, which is wonderful. You know, that's a good thing. So I clicked on it to see who it was. Well, it was somebody that Andrew had went to school with. And um, um, I will also insert a picture here of him. He is the one, his name's Bobby, and he's the one that's standing in the middle. So that picture was from Andrew um, and when he was in JROTC in the high school and they had an awards program. So that was Andrew and Bobby and then another friend of his. His name was Scalia, but I don't remember his first name. Um, uh, I don't remember what his first name was. Scalia. But anyway, Bobby was the one in the middle. And I remember uh, Andrew introducing him to me that night. And the first thing I said to him, I'm sure it was weird coming from somebody's mother. I said, you have beautiful eyes. Um, he, he just has had gorgeous eyes. But um, he and his girlfriend were uh, in 
a, a wreck. He lost control of his vehicle and both of them died at the scene. And so I went to bed last night with him on my mind, thinking about him because um, they have a child um, and he was 29 years old. And so I was thinking about uh, this child that's gonna grow up without a mom and dad and what's gonna become of this child and um, just thinking about him and how uh, 29 is so, so young and, and you know, you never know when you, when you meet somebody uh, how long they have on this earth and it's just, um, it, it was just very, very sad. So it took me forever to go to sleep. And then um, the cat pretty much uh, has become our, my boss. Um, chapel he will he'll start touching me he doesn't hurt me but I can feel his claws just barely sticking out enough to where it's like you know I can feel them and he'll just touch my face like are you gonna wake up and feed me it reminds me of Garfield it truly does um, like are you gonna wake up and feed me and so I had an awful time going to sleep and then he got me up early this morning, so um, so I am already yawning, and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning, um, and I'm already yawning today. Uh, but I just, I wanted to tell you that when people say that you shouldn't look at electronics before you go to bed, it really is true. It's, it's just best that, that you're not looking at your phone or news stories or stuff like that. And you know, if you're one of these people who watches the news, and I just, I can tell you it's much better that if you will read a book instead of that because I thought you know I just went to one website too many if I hadn't gone to that uh, the Winchester Sun that I would have not seen that at all um, and I probably would have would have gone right to sleep you know because when I get stuff like that on my mind I dwell I dwell on things for a long time so it, it takes me a while to get over it so but I feel bad for his family and everybody involved we're in TJ Maxx and I want you to look at all the Christmas pillows they have they have a ton of Christmas pillows they're all down through here and they have throws and everything tons of, of Christmas stuff so in TJ Maxx, the Portobello by Design mugs that I like are up here on the top shelf. And um, they're $4.99 each. Uh, but they have a lot of them. They have the little gnomes, which I already have. They have this one. They have some dogs. Uh, they have one of the Halloween ones left. And then they had some here that were just generic cups that I did not have. They still have some winter ones down here. But they had some down here that I did not have, so I picked these up um, because I, I just, I like them. And these, I've always wanted some that I could use year round. And these are ones that I can use all the time that aren't like seasonal. My best friend is what it said. So I'm getting some of those today. We are in Home Goods. I'm gonna get you to stand next to it to show how tall it is. He's, he's six foot tall. Kevin has a new buddy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's his new friend. And, oh, it has lights. And look at this. You could put this out front on yeah, the porch. You could put this outside. Well, you could put it under the porch, yeah, I maybe. guess. I mean, it might be but well. they have all kinds of Christmas stuff. Um, we just got here, but this is just huge. So I had to show it to you. It's $200, but yeah, I mean. And they still have their Halloween stuff out, of course, because we haven't hit Halloween yet. Um, but they have a lot of Christmas stuff. Mm -hmm. So you have to get in these places early. Um, or it, stuff that you want will be gone. What? Oh, that's neat. It's, nice. it's like he's Santa's peeking out of that book. Peeking at you. out of the book. That's neat. Nice. Watching to see if you're naughty or not. So like, that's neat. Nice. What creepy. But, you know. <laughs> So they have ornaments in the next aisle. And I'm not I'm not like filming this, but I wanted I just wanted to show you um 
those two things because they were huge and you could put them on the porch. Kevin and I just came back from Walmart and I have a little story to tell you about Victoria's Secret, uh, but then um, I have a question for you about Walmart too. My question about, um, do you want to ask the question first about Walmart and then I'll tell about Victoria's Secret? Yeah. The Walmart question, Kevin, Kevin said you should ask because it's annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> Our Walmart. And the Lexington Walmart. And the Lexington, Lexington Walmart. Walmart. Okay, so this is a in our area at Walmart. If you go to the back towards the electronics department, they have a table set up and they will stop you and ask you what cable uh, provider you have. Yeah. And if you look at them and say, I'm not interested, and try to walk on, well, let me ask you this. Well, let me ask you this. It's annoying. Yeah. It's, it's, they it's, almost follow you. they, yes. Well, I've seen people in our area on Facebook say that they tried to go down an aisle to get away from the person and the person followed them. Yeah. So they will harass you. It's not like almost harassment, it is harassment. So what kills me is Kevin and I had got to the point where just to avoid these people, you mentioned this somewhere, just to avoid these people, we would go to the very back. Of yeah, and the cut store down like where the TVs and are. cut down next to the TVs and avoid them completely. Well, since then, they have. I think I was talking to Andrew about. Oh, okay. It, maybe. They closed all the electronics. They closed off the electronics department, so you can't avoid these people. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. And they had the the first time that we noticed that they closed off the electronics department. They actually had two tables. They had a table they did, down. At each end. They had a table at each end to where these people were asking you who your cable service provider was. So there was a no missing them. So if you think you're being harassed by a person at one table and then you've got double tables, it's ridiculous. So we're, what we're wanting to know is, is that just in our area or is that in your area too? You know, if you live in Wyoming, is this happening to you in other states? Yeah, um, they have people trying to sell you cable in or Walmart internet, or internet and we know that Walmart's getting a cut or Walmart wouldn't allow them in oh. there so we realize that but it's that like is that a Kentucky thing because it is a very 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 annoying um so I'll tell you this other thing I'm gonna move my camera I don't have to stay pointed at Kevin uh for this next story um back behind me is a Christmas present on the bed um but anyway Yesterday, last night, um, Christina and Andrew came over and uh, Christina had mentioned Victoria's Secret and how she hadn't gotten any coupons in the mail lately for any free panties. Well, my aunt had told me probably, I don't know, it's probably eight months ago that they weren't going to do that anymore. And I hadn't gotten a coup a coupons in quite a long time. But then all of a sudden, I got coupons in the mail from Victoria's Secret. I actually got two different coupons. I think maybe one was in my name and one was in Ashley's name. So, Ashley doesn't keep up with the coupons. So, when I get them in the mail, excuse me, I just finished coffee. Um, I just put them both in my purse. So, Christina had mentioned that she would like to get her a couple of free, uh, some panties. She, she didn't say free, but she said, I haven't gotten any coupons in the mail or I would have gone and it would be nice to have a free panty. Um, so, I forgot all about to even look in my purse. I, I thought I had had those, but anyway, I got in my purse this morning and I found the two coupons. They both said free panty, no purchase necessary because I have gotten the coupons from Victoria Secret that says you have to make a purchase. Free panty with any purchase. So you could go in there and purchase something for $3 and you could still get a free pair of panties. So I've gotten both kinds of coupons before. These coupons clearly said no purchase necessary. So I took those over to Christina this morning, gave her both of them, and I said, it's okay if they don't let you use them both at the same time. I said, you can use one and let Andrew use the other. So you can each have one and because we do that all the time at, at uh, Bath and Body uh, where you get the little free trial lotions and I'll use one and Kevin will use one. 
And um, so Christina goes in Victoria's Secret and she sp spends time picking out exactly what she wanted. And she got to the counter and the girl was, the girl embarrassed her to death. There were, you know, there's other people around, there's other people in line. And the girl basically told her, that coupon's not any good anymore. We don't honor those anymore. You have to make a purchase. Now, this coupon, today is the 19th when I'm filming this. This coupon didn't even expire until the 20th. Cause you I just bought it too. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't got, I had had it for probably a couple weeks, but... I had probably had it two weeks, but I told Christina, I said, go today because it expires tomorrow. And um, so it's not like it was expired. It had everything on there, you know, no purchase necessary. And she was completely humiliated. They would not have let her use it. And I have to say, they're lucky that it was Christina and not me because I would have asked for a manager. I would have thrown a fit right there. It's I, embarrassing. I, it is embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. They made a special trip in there. It's in a difficult place to park. It's a pain to go there. Um, parking is not fun at all. And so uh, when she told me that, I said, that's fine. Um, I'm sending them an email, and so I sent them a lengthy email, and I told them, I didn't tell them it was Christina. I just told them that I had, that I had gone in, because I figured they sent the coupon to me, it would be easier to explain to them, like, it had happened to me, but I, I sent them an email, and I told them, I, I said, you know, is this, um, I said, if this is the case where you're not going to honor these, then why am I getting them in the mail? Why are you still sending them out? And um, I told them that I had made a special trip because I live in Winchester and the store is in Lexington and that I was embarrassed and humiliated. And uh, so anyway, um, I just sent it a while ago to Victoria's Secret and it says um, that their goal is to respond within four to six hours. So... This is a new vlog that I'm filming here, so that means it won't go up until um, October. Today's the 19th. This vlog won't go up until the 28th. That's given them plenty of time to respond, and I will let you know how they respond because it will be interesting. Um, because I told them in the email exactly which store I went to and everything. Because they can't, they they shouldn't be allowed to treat people like that. And if they're not going to honor the coupons, then don't send the coupons out to people because that's just wrong. So anyway, I thought I would tell you that because it was it was very annoying and it bothers me that I I'm the one that. Here I gave the coupon to Christina, and then she went in there and got humiliated like that. So I feel bad, even though I didn't do anything. I was just trying to do something nice. I feel bad for her that she got humiliated. Before I forget to tell you all, uh, somebody from Victoria's Secret did contact me back uh, within just half an hour. Um, and she said... Um, uh, basically, thank you for take, taking the time to contact us. I understand your concern about not being able to use the free petty coupon. So she she understands my concern, but yet she's not going to do anything about it. Um, I've shared your feedback with our store leadership team. We appreciate your comments and take them very seriously. Uh, we thank you for making us aware of your dissatisfaction. Uh, we always strive for improvement, and your remarks help us focus our attention on making Victoria's Secret the best place to shop. This is how they decided to settle it. I am sending a 20% off exclusive shopper's pass to use on your next in-store visit. Please allow 7 to 10 days to receive this coupon at your home. Um, if there is anything else we can do for you, please email or... Uh, call us at any time. Thank you for choosing Victoria's Secret. So basically, I not to sound ungrateful, but I sent her a message back and said, um, thank you for your reply. Uh, I said, you can just keep the coupon and save the postage. I said, because I was trying to use a free panty coupon, not a 20% off coupon. I said, I already had one of those and chose not to use it. So you know, when you get the Victoria's Secret in the mail, they give you like three or four coupons on one 
um, sheet of paper and you can take off whichever ones you want. So I had a 20% off and I had a free panty and I had something else like $5 off a of fragrance or something like that. Um, so I didn't want to use that. So I let her know basically thanks but no thanks. So nothing got done about it. I just wanted to let you all know that's that's the end of that. If I hear anything else from them, I'll let you know, but I don't expect that I will. I want to try, between me and Kevin, we can try to explain to you this guy that has the scam going on. We think it's, we think it's a scam on I, Amazon. It's awfully fishy to be on, on accident. Okay, so we'll tell you what the deal is. So what the deal is, is we've ordered a, uh, is it Radio Flyer? Yeah. It's a big wheel. It's yeah, in pieces. Right yeah, we'll show you a picture of it. We've ordered a Radio Flyer Big Wheel for Amelia for and Christmas. That's the deluxe. This is deluxe. We paid eighty dollars for it. Keep it on there. Okay. Notice there's pink. The wheel has pink around it. The handlebars are in two pieces. One's here and one's here. Um, the plastic pieces on the side. That that's basically the biggest differences. Okay. So do you have the one pulled up that they sent us? Um, I can find it okay the one that they sent I us show you on here. okay hold on let me okay go ahead so here's the wheel so the one that they sent us does not have any special no color the handlebars are uh, one big piece one big piece you get a flag with this one and the seat is really cheap yeah the whole See, this thing, is a flag the whole thing is not as well constructed as the other and the reason he knows this is because we've ordered <laughs> we, we just ordered we uh we ordered gavin a, a red one and we got it in the mail yesterday and it came what directly from amazon yeah yeah it was from it was an and kevin just put it together yesterday so we got the 80 dollar one from amazon so this one how much was this one it's 50 dollars at walmart yeah he this guy it's sent from a private guy he sent us the $50 one. He ordered it from Walmart and had it shipped to our address. It says Walmart on the... Yeah, it has it Walmart, Walmart on the box. It has Walmart tape on the box. So what he's doing is he is taking people's $80 and he's only sending them the $50 one and he's getting to keep $30 and he, he's hoping that they're not noticing. The reason we know that he's doing this is because um, in the comments on Amazon, he's done this several other times. People are saying, oh, I got a flag or I didn't get this and I, or the wheel didn't have the color on it like it was supposed to. So that's what he's doing. He's done this several times. So... Kevin's boxing it back up. Kevin's going to send it back. We're going to get our money back. But we want you all to know if you, because if you order, I mean, the, the chances of one of you all ordering this are probably slim. But we want people to know. Kevin said, you know, other grandparents would not have paid any attention. And they you didn't order two different ones. There are two different things. If you just, just ordered this, you may not realize. Yeah, you would have thought that you got the right one. And like I said, the only reason we know the difference is because, here's a bag, Kevin, is because Kevin had just put together Gavin's for Christmas yesterday, and so that's how we know for sure that they sent us the wrong one, um, and they sent us a cheaper one. So it's just something to be aware of. Anything on Amazon that you're not getting exactly what you order, then you don't keep it. You need to send it back. Hopefully you can see me and hear me. Um, I feel like my my mouth is big enough to where you definitely be able to hear me. Um, what I am doing right now, some of you may be interested in this, some of you may be bored to tears, but um, just a little behind the scenes, uh, Kevin has a his lunchtime review channel, and I'm sure you've all heard me talk about Kevin's Lunchtime Review Channel. Well, sometimes he gets so many meals in the refrigerator that it, when we keep buying them, I just keep playing uh, Tetris with them in here. And people ask me all the time when they see all the stuff we buy in the grocery house, do you all have another, do you have a freezer? Do you have a deep freeze or something like that? No, we don't. I'm just really good at fitting things in here. I'm very good at playing Jenga. 
and everything that I'm going to pull out right now is just for two shelves. It's for the top two shelves in this, the freezer section. That doesn't, you won't see anything else that's in here because the rest of it, there's stuff in here too. This is, the top two shelves are um, where I try to keep all of Kevin's lunchtime review stuff if I can. And then when we empty out a shelf, I'll, I'll move it up, you know. Uh, but what the deal is, is when, I, when we bring, bring things home from the grocery store, I keep, I'll push meals back and I'll put stuff in the front. And so it gets to the point where the oldest food is in the very back and it's hard to get to. So Kevin's reaching for stuff that's uh, just in the front and I want him to be able to reach the stuff that's in the back as well. So what I'm gonna do, um, anytime we come home from the grocery store, and uh, we buy things to review. I take a picture. That's the first thing you, I do, is I take a picture of um, the, the front of the box and the nutritional information, the ingredients, all that stuff. I have one more. My hands are so cold. Okay, so all of those meals were on the top two shelves. They're empty now. Um, Anyway, I, I take the picture and I put the price on there so Kevin will have the price and I put it in the freezer, but it, it gets pushed to the back. And so what I want to do is I need to move things around. I, I have the, the pictures on my computer of all of these meals, all the pictures. So I wrote down a list of every single one of these meals and what I have to do is go through them and I want to write down the expiration date so that I can make sure that none of them are have expired or about to expire and something that I find um, humorous sometimes is that a meal will come out on Kevin's lunchtime review channel and you'll get somebody that has seen the the date on the box and they'll say that meal is expired well, what they don't realize is Kevin's not trying that meal on that day. Kevin may have tried that meal weeks ago, and you're just now seeing it now because I can schedule the videos. People still on my channel will say, gosh, you get up and post so early. You post your videos so early. Well, you can post them. You can you date. You put the date and the time. I choose the date and the time they come out. If I want them to come out at two o'clock in the morning, they'll come out at two o'clock in the morning. I don't have to be up for that to happen. You just have to schedule it. So, even though Kevin, the date on the box might say uh, that this expired a certain date, that doesn't mean that that Kevin had it when it was old. It means. He had it weeks ago, and you're just now seeing it. So you really, on, 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 on any of our food, on either of our channels, if it's like that, then you just have to know that we probably tried it weeks before. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. I have to write down all the dates. So I tried to fit them together, like all the Stopers stuff in one spot. Uh, but there's just so many. Um, but I'm, I'm, I don't think anything in here has actually expired. Uh, but I just want to make sure that he eats them in the order that he needs to. Because some of these have been in the back for a while. And so I need to know what to move, move forward. also put them together. Oh, here's another one. Yes, I can also put them together to where like all the stofers, all the stofers are in one place. And then we, oh, this is another stofers, but it's a, a different, it's a completely different meal.
be happy to know none of these mills even expire this year. All of these mills that I've looked at don't even expire until next year. So now I need to find the date because I could, I could have done them by date as I was going along, but I didn't. Um, so now I need to find the date that um, is the longest, uh, has the longest due date, expiration date, and put it in the very back. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to ask Ashley the question that you, uh, somebody wanted me to ask. Which do you like better, Thanksgiving or Christmas? Thanksgiving. And why? I like the food better. Is that what you were going to ask me the other day? That's what I want to ask Kevin. I haven't asked Kevin yet. Which do you like better? Hold on. I'll, I'll show him to you. Show okay. Which do I like better, Thanksgiving or Christmas? Yeah, Thanksgiving or Christmas. So Ashley doesn't want to be on camera because she's been at work all day, but um, she said Thanksgiving. That's a hard one. It's very hard. I didn't think it was hard at all. Yeah, but I mean. See, for me, well, you say, because I haven't I haven't answered the question yet. And I want to ask Andrew, and I then. I think on all those appetizer foods, though. But we haven't had that in the past couple of years. The past two years, yeah, we've, we've had that. dinner. I've made I've made dinner on. Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> but you still pick Thanksgiving. I don't like Christmas, yeah. because I tell you what. Thanksgiving, because think Christmas for me nowadays is about the kids, you know? Right, like right. That. So Thanksgiving we eat, but then we play games and the kids don't really participate in that. The right, don't. right. Uh, but at Christmas, everybody's opening gifts and the grandkids are like crazy and throwing right. stuff everywhere and want to open everything, get mad because they right. get up everything. Um, and when Asher and Christina are all opening stuff, I don't know, it's probably Christmas for me. Okay. Well, that would be my answer too, is Christmas, just because I agree with everything Kevin said. For me, um, you know, it was about the kids, and now it's become about the grandkids. And Kevin and I like to buy for the grandkids, but we also like to watch them opening their gifts. I still like watching um, Andrew and Ashley and Christina open their gifts. So for me and Kevin, it's just fun seeing them open their gifts. But we also, um, uh, it's, I like the decorations. I like Christmas decorations and I like the foods that we have at Christmas. And so the whole thing, everything combined. So that's two votes so far for Christmas and one for Thanksgiving. But I am going to ask Andrew and Christina and I'll try to ask the kids. I don't know that Amelia is old enough to realize the difference between the two yet. No, she, Gavin, yeah, I, I don't know that Gavin, well, they said they would like to hear what they said, but I don't even know that Gavin really realizes the difference between the two. No, I think he just knows that it's a, he's in Annie's house getting gifts. Like yeah, he likes to get gifts. So who knows what he'll say. Hello. I I have a quick question to ask you. Is it you're on speaker with Amelia? Should you not be? No, no, no. I want to. No, that's good. I'll ask Amelia too. I want to ask you and Amelia, which one do you like better, Thanksgiving or Christmas? Christmas. Why are you even asking me that? Because that's a, hor that's a horrible question. Christmas. <laughs> I like Christmas. Is that, is that Gavin? <laughs> Why do you like Christmas more? Tell me. Because I get a lot more presents. You get more presents. <laughs> and I get to see you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> see screaming in my ear. Okay, Andrew, which one do you like better? I like um, um, Christmas. Do you like Christmas better? Yes. Well, Ashley, so far, unless Christina gives a different answer, Ashley's the only one so far that has said Thanksgiving. Why, why, why Thanksgiving? Because she said because of the food. She said, I don't like those snacky foods. And I said, yeah, but we haven't had those the past two years at Christmas. We've actually had dinner on Christmas. Hi. Christina, which holiday do you like better, Thanksgiving or Christmas? 
Okay, so Ashley is the only one in the family that picked Thanksgiving. So I feel like once a week I'm showing you this house across the street. They keep adding more to it and I just think it's awesome. And now they've added like these three bats uh, to the top. So we have a blue one and a green one and a red one and I love it. And they change colors. Okay, so now we have purple, blue, and green. And now it's orange. I just love them. So I'm going to step over here on the porch. See if I can get a more straight view. Is that not awesome? I think that's awesome. I wanted to show you what this house looks like during the day. Because it's hard to see those bats at night. But there's three of them up there. And it, it uh, I just think they look awesome. So, I told you all about Victoria's Secret earlier, and I wanted to follow up. They must have already mailed the 20% off coupon by the time I sent her the uh, email back that said, thanks, but no thanks, basically. Uh, but I had already had one of these, like I said, and didn't want to use it. But So, honestly, I will probably just take this and throw it in the garbage. So, I have this pumpkin. I've had it sitting here for several weeks gosh i guess it's been more than several weeks it's probably been it's probably been a month actually i probably have had it for a month um but it is huge i got it at walmart so i've just considered it part of the decor the halloween decor and christina and andrew just recently went to walmart and they got them some pumpkins and I was walking around in here and I thought, you know, I ought to offer them this pumpkin because I'm probably not going to carve it. And I thought, well, gosh, it's looking kind of flat on this side. So I went to pick it up and water started coming out. Um, yeah, wait until Kevin turns this thing over. He's having to get a garbage bag. Turn it over. I want you to turn it. Yeah, you're going to die when you see this. Yeah, the whole, oh, you can't pick it up. You gotta, you, you've got to just turn it. The whole, yeah, it is completely, huh? completely, I've never had a pumpkin like to completely rot like that. Right, and I mean, stinks, do you mind? oh gosh, it smells awful. It's black in I'm there. Oh, it, it stinks horribly, horribly. Okay, let's. Get this in a bag. Gosh, that's bad. Yeah, you keep recording. <laughs> I just want to put it in this bag. <laughs> the, ugh, gosh, it smells like a dirty diaper. Yeah. Let me go get a. Uh, go get the dust pan. Let me. Well, um, I think you might get a couple of them. Uh, Shoot. That we didn't smell that or something. Piece of right there. I think it's just the. Yeah, it's just stamp. a piece of the stem. Gosh, it smells like. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That is right. Mmm. Well, that means the animals didn't sniff around. Mm-hmm. That is horrible. Well, it's been here for over a month. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I got to thinking. I thought um, about this. Wouldn't I mention that just last night? You mentioned I... it, yeah. And there's a hole in that bag. I know. Okay, let me, you want me to use these? And then... Yeah, and let me go get another bag because Ethan does it all. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize how long we had had this. Imagine if this wasn't on a hardwood floor, if this was on carpet. So, my recommendation after going through this, my recommendation would be anytime if you're going to use it for decor, I would put it on a plate. Yeah. Uh, because I would have never thought that until this happened. Imagine if you had it on carpet. Yeah. yeah. 
nasty, nasty. It would ruin, it would, it, that smell would be awful. All right. Oh, you want okay. And I'll, I'll take it straight outside. And then I'm gonna wash my hands. Ew. I got a package in the mail from Alicia, and Alicia had contacted me on Instagram, so I know uh, what is in here. Mm. And Alicia lives in Ohio, so I'm not gonna, I won't give her a dress away, but she does live in Ohio. She asked me if we had reviewed, if we had, uh, got these in our area, and I said, yes, we've actually done a review of those. I said, but thank you very much, because we just get to enjoy them. I like it when we just get to enjoy things. Um, but now these, I cannot wait to try these. She told me about these two brands. Try to be quiet. Okay. She told me about the Hen of the Woods, and um, she sent me pictures of, like, all their different varieties. They have all kinds. And then she told me about these Rue Farms rustic potato chips, and she told me about um, their uh, flavors. And so, Kevin picked out one of these, and I, I picked out... I think I did the barbecue. You picked out the Backwoods Barbecue? <laughs> yeah. Okay, then I must have picked out a touch of smoke. Mm -hmm. So, I cannot wait to do a review of these. Um, th because they're brands that we do not get around here. I've never seen this brand around here, even at like Whole Foods I'd, or, uh, or uh, what's that other market we go Fresh to? Market. Fresh Market? I don't recognize either one of these brands from those stores. Uh, so thank you very much, Alicia, and we will be doing a review of these. Thank you very much to Lila and Scruffy for my cute little Halloween card. Thinking of you at Halloween. I appreciate it very much. We are headed back home from Lexington. Uh, we, uh, we had some places to go. We went to Asda and then we went to uh, the bread store, the uh, bread outlet store, and then we went to Big Lots and Target. So those were the four places we went today. Um, I was hoping to uh, have some resolution about Amelia's Big Wheel by the time we ended the vlog, but I don't. Um, it, uh, he sent us the return slip and we mailed it back on Monday. They strapped so, it to a turtle and sent it on its way. Yeah, so it's still, we haven't gotten any notification that they've gotten it yet. But we went to the Radio Flyer website, and Radio Flyer is not even making those pink ones. Well, the, the, it's, the, it's the, it's all not available. The it's deluxe it's one. Yes, yeah, so, it's not available. So they're making the $55 one, but they're not making the deluxe one, the $80 one. The one that that man is charging for and trust me he knows exactly what he's doing he knows what he's doing so he's just ripping people off every time he sells one of those he's making uh, 30 dollars over what it, it cost him so i recommended last night that you all watch uh, the criminal show we watched criminal uk but then we also finished two more of the series we finished germany and france and now we just have spain left uh, but we are really enjoying it quite a bit. It's horrible though. One of the ones, I'm thinking it was uh, Germany, dealt with the subject of a lorry driver and they suspected that he was... Uh, was that the UK? Was that the UK? Okay, UK. They suspected that he Spoilers, was... Spoilers, if you don't, haven't watched it, don't listen. They suspected that... No, the, well, this isn't... Give it away. Give it away anything. They... What the reason that he was in there, uh, in the, the room, was uh, they suspected that he was transporting uh, people. And it's very ironic that it's just come out in the news that, like, I don't know, something horrible, like... 33 people or something and I think they uh, have it's come out now that they were all Chinese uh, that they were found in the back of a lorry frozen to death I mean real story um, 
so for us to be watching it you know so close to time it was just terrible i mean it's a tragic tragic thing but they were these people had like hid in the back of this refrigerated truck and they all froze to death uh because it was such a long journey it was horrible horrible but anyway um no i'm not giving away anything that happened in that just that that was the subject matter of one of the right. criminal episodes yeah, is, that, sure that you, yeah. is that this guy was suspected of being a lorry driver so that's why he was in the uh, what was that room called the interrogation. Uh, the interrogation room thank you um but it's a really uh, terrific show it's very show. interesting it's not like action packed or anything so don't expect that it's more uh more, uh, it's psychological. Cerebral. It's it's more a thinking show. Yeah, you're thinking. Um, but then a show that I'm watching by myself. I don't remember who it was, but thank you to whoever told me about the show, The Circle. Um, the Circle is um, the first season has already aired. I cannot watch the first season. Um, but the second season is available on YouTube, and so that's where I'm watching it, is on YouTube. What, it, what surprised me about The Circle, it is a reality show in the United Kingdom. It surprised me that Emma Willis is the, um, the hostess of the show. And um, if you all don't know, if you've never watched uh, BBC, uh, or not BBC, uh, Big Brother UK, um, Emma Willis was the host of Big Brother UK, and I'm still so sad that Big Brother UK has gone off, but then Big Brother America is still on. It just amazes me, because it was such a good show. Um, but The Circle, it, it it's interesting. It's very interesting. The whole premise of the show is to keep everything apart you get people you get like let's just say eight people coming in on the show and they're each in their own individual apartments the only way that they have to communicate is through text or at least so far I've only watched two and a half episodes and you can either be honest and let people know who, your real identity you can pretend that you're somebody uh, completely different than who you really are so um, you all if, if you're interested in that type of show a reality type show it is on um, YouTube but so far my favorite person on this show is Tim Tim looks just like Robin Williams when Robin Williams was in Jumanji, when he had been in the the jungle, <laughs> and now I'm telling you, when he had been in the jungle, and then he comes back. He has the woolly hair and the beard. Yes, this guy named Tim Kevin, you would agree with me totally, and he kind of acts like that character. Uh -huh. He kind of acts like Robin Williams acted in Jumanji. And he's so cute. He's an adorable guy. He's like in his 50s and he has this big bushy beard and this this hair and he wears this jacket kind of like Hugh Hefner and he has a cat. But he would totally remind you of Robin Williams in Jumanji. And he is my favorite person. He used to be a monk, but he's a professor now at a, at a, at a college. And so I don't know, I can't even imagine who's gonna win or anything like that. So don't give it away in the comments. Don't be, don't be mean and give it away and tell me. Um, but um, I'm enjoying it very much. There's only been one person voted off so far. Because like I said, I've only watched two and a half episodes. And the first episode was getting everybody settled in. The second episode, the, on the second episode, the first person went home. So it's been really, really good. But anyway, if you're interested... If you've watched it before, you'll have to let me know if you liked it or not. But we are almost home. I'm going to end the vlog for the week. I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you next week.